All right, these slides talk about exothermic and endothermic processes. Before we begin, I just want to present you with an idea because it's going to become increasingly important, especially when we talk about the calorie. And that idea is chemical potential energy. And that is energy that's stored in the bonds of chemicals. We're going to talk a lot about heat, heat transfers, so I need to define heat. And when you see heat in a mathematical equation, it's denoted as Q. And what heat is, it's energy that is transferred from one object to another when there's a difference in temperature of the two objects. And heat flow has a direction. It's always from warmer to cooler. And so if you think on a cold day when you open your door and your parents yell at you, don't let the cold air in, now you can... Uh, correct them and say, actually, I'm letting the warm air out. So there's two more words I needed to find because they pop up in the definitions of endothermic and exothermic, the first of which is system. And that is part of the universe which you focus your attention. And examples usually uh, in problems are a human body, or it could be water molecules, or it could be atoms, uh, something like that. And then there's surroundings, and surroundings include everything else in the universe. So the first definition is endothermic process, and that's a process which occurs when a system absorbs heat from the surroundings. And exothermic is exactly the opposite. It's one, when a system releases heat to its surroundings. So let's go through a few examples. So you have a beaker, you add two chemicals, and once you add the two chemicals, the beaker gets really hot. So let's think about what's going on. So here's a drawing of a beaker. And when you mix the two chemicals, the chemicals are releasing energy. And so the chemicals are the system. And it's releasing energy to the surroundings. And so exactly um, that's an exothermic process. And say you get another beaker, you mix two more chemicals. And all of a sudden, the surroundings get very cold. The beaker gets really cold to the touch. And what's going on is heat is being transferred from the surroundings to the system. And so that is, by definition, endothermic process. Okay, let's imagine going camping, starting a fire. And um, the reason why you start a fire is to heat up your surroundings. So you're the system because you want the heat to be transferred into your body and to keep you warm. And so that is also an endothermic process. Okay, imagine triple digit weather. You begin to sweat, and this is the reason why you sweat, is to cool off. And so heat is being transferred from your body to the sweat, which is liquid water. And once liquid water gets enough energy, it turns from liquid to gas. And so uh, you feel dry after a while, it evaporates. And so you're the system uh, giving off heat to the surrounding, which is uh, part of the surroundings is the sweat. So that's exothermic process. Okay, imagine getting a cold glass on a hot day. Uh, everyone's experienced this, and then all of a sudden it gets wet. Why is that? It's because um, in air, there are water molecules, which, it's, which is in the form of vapor or gas. And so um, if you take uh, glass, which is cold, you're cooling the surroundings. And so uh, the water vapor gives energy off into the glass. Um, and so when you cool off water, which is in gas form enough, it turns to liquid water. And so the water molecules are the system. And the, the system is giving off heat to the surroundings. And so this is called an exothermic process.